Hey, so, okay, I'm ready to take my twist down. Um, I had them in for a couple of days. I put them in, what, I do the video on Tuesday? Um, honestly, I don't know how they're going to come out because I've been, like, playing with my hair so much. It's, like, not even funny. Um, but I'm just going to take them down today with um, Emu Oil. This is Emu Essentials. Here, move it out the glare. Um, I got this at just like this random like health food store in my neighborhood. Um, it was like 20 bucks for four ounces. It's kind of expensive, but it's emu oil, so whatever. All right, so I just put some in my hand. I'm trying to use a lot. Okay, so I'm going to start from the back. What I do, I'll just start. And then honestly, I twist, untwist them how um, I had initially twisted them. Like I just don't run my fingers through the twist to break it up because I uh, personally, like when I do that, my hair kind of boings back and has the potential to um, make the twist out like shorter it'll like boing back more if I and if I do it like this so yeah um damn this is hard to see so anyways so while I'm doing this I wanted to talk about the integrity of hair care companies uh, the other day uh, this woman I'm not gonna say what company it was was posting on one of my hair forums and she was like, oh, there's a meetup for this new company. I've met the owner. You know, I think their products are really good. And they're giving out free products at this meetup. And I'm really excited to go. So I just wanted to let you guys know about it. So, you know, she looks like she's trying to share the information with the ladies on the forum. So everyone's like, oh, okay, thanks. So then you go to... Um, the company website, you go to the About Us section, guess whose face is there? Hers. So first of all, uh, what she did wasn't very smart because I don't know about you, but I wasn't born yesterday. So if I see your face in the owner section, obviously I know that is your company and you're not simply a consumer like you're trying to fake on this hairboard. So, um, yeah, it was, and then it was really funny because one of my little hair friends responded to her and she was just like, um, you know, we, I see that your picture is in the about section. You didn't have to lie. You could have just, you know, tried to, uh, promote your company in like a respectable way even though the, it is against the rules of the forum to promote your company um, like that so I mean you know and she, but the thing is though so this um, chick I'm gonna give her a side eye because and I won't call her names but I was definitely about to call her some um, unladylike things because I don't really know how to address her because I think she's really shady so what she did we had this one uh thread about her and that's when she got called out right so she never she never came back to this thread what did this chick do posted uh multiple times in different uh board on different boards because this forum you know like a forum will have like different boards so she gonna post in the different forums because those people those other people didn't you know necessarily see that thread so what we did we noticed that she had still been posting and I looked and I saw that she had started at least three threads saying that she had met the owner or that you know she had tried the product. Of course you tried the products. You made them. Um, it was just really foul. So we were talking about it this morning. 
And I reported her because to me, like, I'm like really big on customer service and integrity. Like in the industry that I work in, client service is huge. It's like number one. So I am personally offended when people think that it's cute to try to lie to consumers because one of the biggest rules of marketing and PR is to be transparent with your consumer and the other one is never throw your consumer under the bus so that was just like so icky to me I just I saw that and then like once they found, figured out what she was doing you know they deleted all her threads and stuff but I was just like, what kind of person are you if you wanted, you know, people to try your products? Number one, um, if you're starting out a new company, you should probably, it's probably a good idea to get some um, testers because I'm sure there are plenty of women who want to try out some products, get some testers and have them do it and ask them, tell them that in exchange for the products, you just, you know, ask them to review it. I don't think that that's wrong because people can, you know, most people before they put a product on the market, someone tested it. So even if you don't want to give a review, I think that it's fine. It's good to get feedback from the public and, you know, if they want to rebuy your stuff because they liked it, they're probably, you know, going to promote it for you. So why do you need to come on a hair forum uh, telling lies? I just don't understand. That's so dishonest and so foul to me. It was so foul. It just annoyed the bejesus out of me because I was just like, this lady is a mess. And I don't wish, you know, anyone's business fail but I was just like you need a business like class 101 lesson because you just um broke like the number one rule of business don't lie to your consumer and don't let them find out about it <sighs> I can't I was so angry Ugh, just made me shake my I was disgusted Ugh, I'm sorry it, it just really disgusts me I didn't you know freaking get a job for nothing um, but anyway what do you guys think about it like is this a big deal to you do you think that um, customer service comes second to the actual product like do you care if a company treats you like crap as long as you like their products what's the deal because you know I've seen some other companies do shady tactical things and people are still like well I, I just like their products I just want to buy the product but me like it, maybe it's just me but I'm not giving you money if I think you're a shade ball like that would be the same thing I'm not gonna date a dude if I think he's an asshole just because he's cute like to me it's the same thing I mean obviously not the same thing but it's along the same lines of thinking um you know so I said, like, uh, the whole Afro-Beta thing. Some people are like, oh, man, Elle, you went hard on her. You went so hard. And, and okay, for me, um, Afro-Beta was not about her raising her prices because I couldn't care less. If you want to charge, you know, a billion dollars for your product, go ahead because someone will buy it. I don't get mad at companies for that. If you, yeah, if you want to charge, and at least her ingredients, were pretty good. <laughs> Granted, most of them weren't hers, but um, at least the ingredients were good. So if you want to charge a bunch of money for something that's popular, go right ahead. Um, you know, people buy, I buy video games for $50. I don't think them things are really worth $50 a video game, but that's the industry and that's how much they cost. So it didn't have anything to do with price for me. Um, it had more so to do with her attempting to be transparent with her customers after they were mad at her for increasing the price. But then her rationale really didn't make any sense. Because when she said the cost of shea butter and aloe vera went up, so it's like, okay, so it didn't go up on 
any of these other sites, none of these other companies are doing the same thing. Like if that, if you wanted to say that it's like an industry thing, then you would need the entire industry to reflect that, not just <laughs> your company. Like we weren't born yesterday. Um, and then the fact that too, um, yeah, no one else increased their prices. And it was just such like a big price increase that it, it just didn't make sense. So I, uh, number one, I think that that was like a BS reason. Then number two, the thing that I really got um, heated about was when we figured out that she was actually using bases for her conditioners. Like a lot of people were just, you know, hollering about, I, I don't want to pay this. Um, okay, then don't buy it. Um, I didn't have a problem with that. But when you, you know, have in your like mission statement or the about us for your company and you're saying that you make all your products by hand and love is in them and all that kind of stuff and then you're, you're using bases from essential wholesale once again lying not being transparent with customers so that's when I got mad at her and I was like you know what no one needs to buy these products because this is just foul. And then after after we <laughs> figured that out, see the ladies on um naturally curly be calling people out and then they get mad, but instead of owning up to it, what did Mala do? Take the ingredients off her website. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then you know so and not everyone belongs to a hair form, so not everyone saw that thread. And not everyone knew what she was doing. So, of course, like, people still were buying her stuff. And then some people are so funny. They're so, like, reluctant to, um, they don't, they're like, oh, don't bash them. Don't bash them. Or they, you know, they're, they're so keen on, like, trying to not make people look bad. Like, some people are like, how do you know? that she made a base. I think this is just hearsay. I think that you guys are just, you know, hating on her. You're mad about the price. So you're trying to find something else about it. But then I had to paste the description from Essential Wholesale and compare it to Mala's. It's still on my computer because I saved that junk in case someone wanted to try to come for me. Um, and like I had to show them that the the two were basically identical and I'm like okay well I know Essential Wholesale did not steal this from the owner of Afroveda so I can only figure out where she got this from and then they were like oh wow I was like yeah why would I lie like I'm sorry I'm not gonna sit there and tell fibs about a company I don't I'm not trying to be negative like that I'm not trying to hurt people's business like that but I think that you know, people have the right to know what they're spending their money on and what kind of person they're giving their money to. So you can hate on me. I don't care. You know, and you won't see me starting um, a company and trying to sell any products either because I am lazy. I'm not mixing up nothing. Bam. So, yeah. Hmm, I don't know. That's just my thought for today because I saw that other thread this morning. I was so mad. I was like, word? Okay. I was like, you just did all, you just did all, all of that. Mm-hmm. It was that important for people to come to your meetup that you had to lie. Like, you couldn't go. Like, you should do research. You could have reached out to bloggers. You could have gone on Facebook and saw, you know, the women who like Kinky Curly on Facebook or people who were commenting on Kinky Curly's page on Facebook or something like that. Or you could have uh, emailed, you know, the Kinky, the admin on the Kinky Curly page or another company or not, not a company. I wouldn't do it on a company, but like on a um, 
like a shop like Sage Naturaceuticals or you know or if a shop in your area had um, a page where you say you know is it is it okay if I post the information for my meetup here and I think it would be and you know it would be great if you could come as well in case you want to put my products in your store there are so many different ways that you could have gone about promoting that event besides dishonesty so you know what good luck but I won't be buying your products at all because L does not have the time ain't got no time for let me stop I'm not gonna sing that song that was gonna be a mean song right if, if you know what song that was I want you to leave it in the comments um all right I'm almost done sort of I hate doing these Well, it's not taking me that long to take them down. I think. Is this all I have left? Oh, yesterday, um, I found the uh, Roots of Nature uh, line, the new one that's like supposed to be com comparable to Miss Jessie's and uh, Diva Curl, so I'm gonna try that when I go back to wash and goes, but I have to, um, I got the new olive, well not the new, but I got the Icy Fantasia, that's when I skipped, olive gel too, and I love the um, it's clear, so I'm gonna try that when I go back to wash and goes in a few days. Someone told me wash and goes weren't for me because I said I wanted to like minimize tangles because I don't like tangles at all. And the best thing I like about doing uh, twists and twist outs is that when I let my hair dry in a set, it can't shrink up on itself and therefore I can't, I don't get like any tangles. So I was like trying to see if maybe I could find a way to do this and still do wash and goes. Um, I don't think I can. I think with wash and goes, you're just going to get shrinkage, so you're going to get tangling. The only thing I think I could do is either shingle my little heart out, which I'm probably not going to do because it's going to take too long, or I could do wash and go at night and band it to try to keep it from shrinking up on itself. But besides that, I really don't think I could do anything. Yeah, but, um, so I tweeted that I was like researching ways to minimize tangles on a wash and go, and someone answered me. Well, I didn't. A I wasn't asking a question. I was just saying what I was doing at the time. So I think that was part of the misunderstanding because I really didn't want Twitter advice because I like to do my own research or ask people that I trust on my hair board. Like I don't you usually just like send out a call for help on the natural hair hashtag because I, I don't know those people. Um, so I did that and this person was like, well, if your hair, you know, if your hair tangles, maybe washing those aren't for you. I was like, um, all I do is washing those like for the past year, like since I went natural and I basically retained all of my length last year. So I think oh, I'm not going to listen to your advice. Thanks. Because, you know, like people will give you advice on Twitter. They've never seen your hair. They've never looked at your hair. They don't know what you do to your hair. So I'd rather, you know, a lot of the time I just ask the girls on Naturally Curly because I've been there since I, st you know, I stopped relaxing my hair. Like before I even cut my hair, my feet are falling asleep into a mohawk. So they like know my hair. They've seen my hair like 50 bajillion times. So I'm going to ask them. I'm not going to ask someone who's never even looked at my hair what I should do with it. So thanks for no thanks. Okay, so good news. Um, these twists, I did in the front. I like retwisted them last night with the Roots of Nature stuff, and they're really soft. I mean, all of them are soft, but 
I was kind of afraid, you know, roots of nature. All right. I think I'm done. Um, I don't think I'm going to separate these. I think I'm going to leave them like this for now. I might separate them in a couple of days. Oh my god, my foot is so asleep. Ah, it feels really weird. It hurts, guys. It hurts. Um, uh, yeah. I think I'm going to just leave it like this. I don't know. And here comes Bacardi. Oh my god, this is another 20 minute video. Let me get off here. Y'all. Oh, I found a twist. You guys keep me on here forever. Hi, sweet pea. Hi, I'm not going to yell at you today. Want to get on camera? Here, I'll be done with my twist. You can get on camera. I'm going to stick my hands up there. Come here. Oh! See, look at him. Oh, I love you too. All right, let me get off here. This is 20 minutes. It's way too long. But there we go. I look like a doll, but whatever. I'll probably separate them. Um, like later. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.